Well, they're wildly popular during Fourth of July and New Year's, but a bill filed last week by a Florida senator may make fireworks even more popular. As an local news reporter, Amber Stidham has more on the bill that would end the ban on fireworks in Florida. Your next 4th of July celebration could get quite a bit louder. A state representative filed a bill last month that could end the ban on fireworks in Florida. The bill from Representative Matt Gates includes not just the ban to buy and sell fireworks for anything other than agricultural purposes, but also the ban on making fireworks. But it may not be that easy. Representative Greg Stubbe tells me even if a bill like this could pass, cities and counties could still further regulate it with any additional laws or ordinances. If the city of Bradenton or city of Sarasota would like to further put restrictions on the type of fireworks that are utilized, they can still do that if they choose to do that. All he's doing is repealing the state ban on certain types of um, fireworks and then the regulations on sparklers. Though fireworks store managers told me they like the idea of the boost in business, emergency responders don't. Even with the current ban, about 7,000 firework related incidents occur each year in Florida. Though the bill is in its early stages, fire officials are concerned this will surely lead to more emergency calls. Obviously if, um, if those laws were relaxed, there's a high probability that those would increase and we don't want that. If the bill is approved by the Florida House and Senate during the legislative session next year, and if Governor Scott signs it into law, the ban could end in time for 4th of July. Reporting in Sarasota County, I'm Amber Stidham, SNN Local News.